Hey guys, it's Kim here and welcome to The Last of Us Left Behind. Um, so as many of you will know, uh, The Last of Us was the first kind of proper Let's Play series I did on my channel and we made it all the way to the end and oh my gosh, wasn't that heartbreaking. Um, if you haven't caught up with my Last of Us series, I suggest you go and watch that first because there's going to be massive spoilers in that for this. This being the Left Behind DLC. Now, I don't actually know that much about Left Behind. I've done the thing that I kind of always do with things that I know that I'm going to play or watch and enjoy. And I've just tried to read and see as little as possible about it. So I did it with like, you know, Dark Knight Rises and Star Trek 2 and um, Mass Effect 3 actually. Somehow I managed to get through the entire production production of Mass Effect 3 without seeing anything about it. Um, so all I know about Left Behind is that it's a prequel uh, starring Ellie. And so yeah, that's literally all I know. Um, it's probably going to be heartbreaking. Um, but yeah, so if you haven't seen my playthrough of The Last of Us, uh, links are in the video description below. And uh, I'll also put some annotations up now, so be sure to catch up with that. Um, but for the rest of us, let's get ready for our hearts to be broken. What? Fireflies? Get down! Oh. Who the fuck are these guys? Stay the fuck back! Joel! Put your arm around me! Come on! I think we're safe. Joel? Joel? <laughs> Shit. Joel, here. Oh, get up, get up, get up. You gotta tell me what to do. Come on. You gotta get up. Riley? Ow. I landed on my hip. What the hell? I thought I was bitten. I know. It was kind of awesome. You're not gonna kill me, are you? I haven't seen you, and I don't even know how long. 45 days? Well, 46, technically. Wanna know what I've been up to? This time, I thought you were dead. Yeah. Here. Look. No way. Still no roommate? I had to sleep under Liz for three years, and you know how bad that girl smelled. You're a firefly. You still have it up. What? What are you doing? I'm making sure I don't get caught with a firefly in my room. Relax. There are no soldiers on the entire floor. Here, congrats. Hey. Are we cool? Are we cool? I disappeared and you're mad. Yeah. And I owe you an explanation. Let's get out of here and I'll tell you all about it. It's almost morning, and I have military drills. You know, where we learn how to kill fireflies? Put some pants on and let's go. <sighs> I'm so dumb. Oh, come on. When have we ever gotten into trouble? <sighs> Shit. <sighs> come on, give me some. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna put you on your side. <coughs> Jesus. Oh. <coughs> 
I should buy us some time. Find something to stitch you up, okay? Callus, keep an eye on him. I'll be back in a flash. Promise. I totally got this. Well, that is quite the intro oh, there. Now where the fuck do I go? So it looks like we're taking on the chapter that perhaps affected me quite badly when I actually played it. Um, you can hear I was crying my eyes out when Joel had that accident um, in the science lab. Uh, so that's interesting. It looks like we're going to be jumping back and forth through uh, the timeline. So learning a bit more about Ellie when she was back in the military orphanage um, with Riley, who looks to me suspiciously like she's related to Marlene. Um, and I can already feel that this is probably going to make me cry once again. Um, as with my Last of Us playthrough, I'm going to keep quiet during cutscenes and stuff like that, because uh, I know you guys enjoy it a bit more without my nonsensical ramblings um, over the rather more tender and sentimental moments. Um, and also because I just want to enjoy it, sit back and enjoy it as well. Um, and it probably won't be helped by me sniffling all the way through it. So... It looks like we're going to kind of complete the uh, the gap between uh, when Joel uh, was pushed over the edge by the Firefly and Ellie um, got him to the house. Because um, I must admit, at the time, I did wonder, what on earth, like, how did she manage to get him all the way back here? So I wonder if she had some help or if she managed to do it all on her own. I wonder if we're going to meet up with Riley. Probably, as uh, storylines go, you know, two people, friends, on the opposite sides of the, uh, on opposite sides of the, uh, well, good, good and bad. Um, I really hope, I, I just really get the feeling already that Riley's doomed, that, you know, she's not going to survive this. Oh, dear. Um, right, let's have a look around. So we need stuff to help Joel. Uh... Looks like there's nothing much around here already, so let's keep going this way. Um, I've lost track of where we are ge geographically. Um, so this was after the science lab in the university. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Great! Our old friend, the clickers. Not too far away. And I don't think I have any weapons. So, let's be careful. Hey, I like the statue. Is this a shopping mall? Are there shopping malls in America that have cool statues like this? Because that's badass. I guess in um, the Manchester Bullring, they have that big old statue of a bull. Not really sure why. Uh... Oh, in Bath, in, in Bath, in the new um, Southgate city centre, there's that weird statue of the uh, Olympian from the uh, 2013 Olympics. L3, what you got? Weston's Pharmacy. That sounds promising. Hmm. Probably full of clickers. Um, right, that's good, because uh, I can't remember... <laughs> I can't remember half of the uh, things that I'm meant to be doing. So, what's this? Combination lock? Locked. Oh, come on, we could solve that. Right, well, let's see if we can find some... some scrap of paper with a combination on it. No, no combination there. Just gonna have a quick scout around before I go into the pharmacy. Hint. Yeah, okay, okay, I get that. I'm just trying to see if there's any stuff I can scavenge or any combinations I can find. 
But no, nothing here. So maybe it's in the pharmacy. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Right, let's go see if there are clickers in here, which there will be. Okay, I'm gonna have that off for the moment because uh, I don't know. I know that I know that having a flashlight on doesn't attract clickers. Um, but as someone who plays a lot of Silent Hill, it still makes me nervous to have flashlights on. Ooh, that guy scared me. <laughs> oh dear. What's in here? Oh come on. First aid kit. How the fuck do I get inside? Smash the window. Need key. Um. So there doesn't seem to be any uh, any clickers yet. Scissors. That's always good. I'd love to make some more nail bombs. Nail bombs were definitely my uh, my favourite weapon of choice in the last <laughs> main game. The farm Crazy things. Wanna attack me? Maybe he's got a key. Oh. 35, 30, 31. Well, I don't really want to go next door, because, um... Because we'll have to kill the crazy pharmacist. So let's see what we can find in here to make for weapons, because maybe we can just chuck a nail bomb in and shut the door, and that'll sort everything out. Which, you know, is my solution to most things in life, really. Just, you know... Build a nail bomb, throw it, shut the door. <laughs> Doesn't quite solve everything. What's this? Ugh. Of course. Everything's picked clean. What's over here? Fairy liquid. Weird... Potty? Oh, it must be a disability poppy. Potty, even. Just thought it was that for potty training for regular kids. <laughs> uh. So, nothing in here. This, this place has been ransacked pretty good, hasn't it? Unless you have a real need for metal shelves and those weird things. And, and a hairdryer? Does anyone need a hairdryer? I need a new hairdryer, actually. My one's so old. It's actually my mum's. Anything? No? <sighs> Anything? Comic book. <sighs> Nothing. Take the comic book. Fine. Okay. Anything else? What's this? Pills? Come on! Maybe I could take them. Sheen. So it looks like we are going to have to face up against the clicker next door. Oh man, I was hoping for more stuff so we could craft something. What the hell? Did you just swallow the pills and leave the bottle? God. That's inconsiderate. Inconsiderate! I always find that something really irritating. Uh, an irritating trait of guys when they just like uh, drink everything in like the carton or the milk bottle or something like that and leave a tiny little dreg and then put it in your fridge and you so you think oh, I've got plenty of ju juice left in my fridge and then you think oh I really want some orange juice and there's nothing left nothing left what is that about guys come on what is that just put it in the bin just finish it off and put it in the bin it's not hard Okay, I'm just going to do a quick scout back here, see if there's anything else. Because I'd really like to craft some, uh, some shivs or something like that. Come on then, let's see what this pharmacist has to say. 35 right, 3 left, 31, 31? right. That worked. <laughs> Hello? Shit. Well, that's not good. But Ellie's immune, remember? <sighs> if you're gonna jump out at me, go ahead and fucking do it. Hello, creepy pharmacist. Oh my god, these dolls. Oh no. Dolls are right up there with my fear of mannequins and clowns. Dolls, man. Nine mini doll collection, $183. Why would you spend $183 on creepy dolls? Oh my god. Oh, look at. Oh no. 
No, that's not right. Oh, my friend has a collection of these really creepy um, Japanese dolls, and they're in a box similar to that. And, um, ooh, weapons. Um, and they're done in a similar fashion where all you can see is their kind of eyes peeping out of the, um, the cellophane hole on the front of the box. But the way the dolls are, they're, they're like, they're pretty much like, you know, Sadako from The Ring. So they're just like black, soulless eyes, long black hair, and they look like they're gonna murder you. So every time I go and visit her house, I see these dolls and they just make me so unhappy. Oh man, the music's gone all creepy. <laughs> I don't like the creepy music and the creepy dolls and the creepy spores. Can I make anything yet? No. So we can make health kits, molotovs, nail bombs and smoke bombs. <sighs> right. I can't remember my controls. So, yeah, no, okay, right. Oh, this is hard. I was sort of getting into the flow of things at the end. Oh. I'll come to you in a second. Because you might still be alive and jump at my face, and I want to see if there's more stuff around here. But yeah, when we came to the end of The Last of Us, you know, we were pretty tanked up, and... Remember that amazing bit where uh, I cleared out that tunnel under Salt Lake City? I Honestly, that is the finest moment of gaming I've ever achieved. Never achieved something like that since. I could, you know what, I'd, I'd love to have a... Wait a minute. Oh, tiny, tiny seats for the tiny dolls. Ah, oh, this is wrong. This is so wrong. Right, let's deal with this guy then. God. Hey, doctor. Oh, man. Uh, don't come to life, don't come to life. Wait for the jump scare, wait for the jump scare. <sighs> Where is it? Oh, key. Okay. Uh. Oh, fuck! God damn it! Okay, well, at least he's not alive. Alright. Key. Pharmacy. Let's do it. What does the pharmacist's note say? Oh. Oh, it's photos of him and his girlfriend. Oh, that's sad. Dead now. Okay, let's go back then. To the pharmacy. Oh, great. Can Ellie stealth shift them? I can't remember if that's a thing she can do or not. Oh, I forgot that sound, how horrible that sound is. Right, was there anything else in here that I could have picked up to to chuck? Because I'm going to need something on the way back out, aren't I? Okay, well, let's keep moving. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Is there a bottle? I'm sure there was a bottle around here or something. Well, let's see. Oh, yes. Here we go. Oh. oh. Damn. Oh. A military helicopter. That's handy. That's gotta have something. Hang in there, Joel. That's handy. Suddenly, military helicopter. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, so there's nothing here, nothing on any of these shelves. Let's go in here where there seems to be a bonanza of things. Or not. Explosives. Oh, I can hear that clicker. There you go. Nothing. I really wish I had that brick. 
Because we've got nothing right now. Nothing. I hate it when that happens in survival games. Uh, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Can I make anything? Still no. Still need to find some more things. Okay. Okay, we're alright. We're alright for now. Shelter! Shelter area! Well, yeah. Looks looks great for a shelter area. Mm, generator down there. So it looks like we're gonna have to come back around this way. Oh, clicker! So we're on the other side. Ah, too high of a drop. Yeah, don't want to get yourself injured as well. It's not in the cannon. Oh, there's going to be a clicker around here, isn't there? Hmm. Huh. You surprise me. Unless they appear in a second. Oh, snow. I wish I had snow boots. Let's see. Anything? Nothing there. Ah, scissors. Some rather large luggage. A few bits and pieces. Is that something? No, it's not. Um, so I still can't make anything. Or can I? Almost there. So I need a few more explosives for nail bombs. Or more alcohol. Hmm. It'd be nice to be able to make a health kit as well, though. Did I check this bit? Yeah, let's presume I did. Um, nail varnish? Anyone want some nail varnish? Nail salon. I'm terrible with my nails. I chew them. And I have, like, one nail varnish colour. Ooh! There's a dead man. Hello, dead man. Ish. What do you have there? What's this? Ah, no sutures. Well, at least I can use this. Ooh. It's a pretty filthy looking bandage. Um, so I don't need that. Uh, so please drop that in case I accidentally use it. What do you have to say? Um, to read? Chief Warrant Officer Larry Coldfield died bravely this afternoon. We were flying back to the QZ when our patient turned. It must have been the spores because none of us saw the bite. The patient broke through the restraints and fell upon our pilot, W.O. Sean Brendan. Even in the helicopter, even with the helicopter spinning out of control, Officer Caulfield fought the infected patient, saving our lives. We crashed into a rural Colorado mall. Private Eugene Ellis, Officer Caulfield, and I were the only survivors. In subduing the infected, Officer Caulfield was bitten on the neck. He immediately showed us the bite and accepted his fate. I executed the infection protocol before Officer Caulfield could turn into an infected. May he rest in peace. Captain Reagan Francis, 4th Infantry Division, Denver QZ. Well, rest in peace, Officer Caulfield. What a noble man. I don't really know if I want to be using his bandages, though. His fusty, fetid bandages. Hmm. Looks like you can get a lot done here at this studio. Right. How's it looking down there? It's looking like a good place to get attacked. Yeah, 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 I know. Military hospital, uh, helicopter. Well done. Um, oh, where are all the clickers? There's going to be so many clickers here, aren't there? Do I need to go back up around this way? No, it looks like I can't. Um, so I probably could go down there. Can I go down here? Here we go. 